Hi, it's Fiona Fernandez. I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on putting your labels onto your red rubber cling stamps. So there's a few different videos I've done previously, but I thought I'd just do an updated one and show you a couple of different ways. So in my YouTube channel, you'll find another one where I've actually used the Stamparatus to put the labels on, but I'll do it this way. And I do it during my weekly lives sometimes as well, so you can find some in there. This is one of the ways I do it. So according to the packet, it tells you to lift the label up like that and take half off and then put half the stamp down. And I have done it like that in the past. I don't prefer that anymore. I'll do it a different way now, but I'll just do that as well, just to show you. So you just take off half the label if you want to do it this way. And I'm standing up over the top of the the label and the stamp so that I can see where I'm sticking the, the stamp. And you've just got to be very careful you get it on the right spot. Because once you stick it down, it's very hard to get it off. You can heat it a little bit with your heat tool and get very careful with some tweezers to take the label off, but it's you know better to get it on first properly. So that's one side of it. And then I just pull up that side and pull that piece out and then put that down. Now the top of it, I haven't quite got the top right up to the top there so it is good to try and get that exactly right and then just smooth it back down. Just look at all levels as you go. It's okay though. It'll be alright. And then I just Push it down a bit with your finger like that. So it kind of went a tiny bit funny there, but I'm still okay with that. So then when you put it on your stamp block, it'll be like that. All right, now the other thing we need to remember is put a little bit of fluff on one end of your thing. You can use, I usually use a bit of my clothing, so I just go onto my sleeve like that. And just get a little bit of fluff just on one end of it so that when you're putting it on your block you can pull it back up really easily otherwise they are quite hard to get off the block and then i just pop them into the case so the other way i've been doing it and i tend to do it this way more now is i take the label off the sheet here and again i'm going to put the fluff on it before i stick it on my block and then i put it down there and then you might need your tweezers or your snips or your take your pick tool and just get that halfway bit off. A bit tricky or your fingernail, whatever works for you. It's not working for me. <laughs> Okay, so then we've got that, and then we just find the corresponding stamp, so it's this one. Take the paper backing off it, and then pop that over the top. And again, I'm right over the top of this so that I can see it. So I tend to look for the shape, and look at all of the shapes at once. Don't push it down yet until you're quite sure you've got it in the right spot, and then gently push it down like that. I find this way a lot better. And I do it like this most of the time. There we go. We've put a little bit of fluff on that end already. Pop it in the box. Just do a couple more. Oh, look at this one. Looks like writing. So if you're wondering what this is, it's called Ranunculus Romance. All those stamps in it. Isn't it gorgeous? Love that. You know, that'll go with the... Um, working on the Abigail Rose at the moment for my next class. I could use that in there. I just put a bit of fluff on one side. So I tend to go to the, I try and stick to the same edge, like that sort of side or a long stem, so that when I'm taking it off the thing, I'm usually putting it off the same side. There we 
you just put it up doesn't matter whether it's upside down or not as long as you've got the shape the right way occasionally you'll get a stamp that is very hard to tell <laughs> which way so just always make sure you've got them matching this one's a little bit harder to see with the edges not quite good okay push it on hard and then peel it off do one more let's do let's do that long one so this one's going to be tricky because the image is all the same <laughs> so we'll just stick it on there first so make sure it's long enough so that's not quite long enough so i'm going to go diagonally because it's got to fit on the whole block yeah i need that thing <laughs> need my thing I take your picture. Okay, so let's just check this out. Is it all the same? Both sides. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. My stamp. Okay, so on here, looking at my stamp. It's closer to that edge than it is to this edge. So I'm just going to check the label. We can see on the label, if you can see that, let me put it there, that it's closer. There's something dark under it. See how we've got more space on, I feel like there's a bit more space on the top side there, on this side. Then this side, this has got less space under the under the design so I want that spacey bit to go on top so I'm going to put it light down so that the spacey bit is to the top and the spacey bit is going to be up there like that Sure that'll work. Okay. Go that way. Yep. Jen, did I put fluff on? Did I put fluff on? <laughs> I can't remember now. It's <laughs> terrible. I think it was this end. All right, we'll just pop that in the box. So that's how to sort them all out. Now, um, yeah, so there's one here that's going to be a bit tricky because it's very similar shape let's pull that out I know I said that was the last one but we can use a smaller block for this one I'll just get that one off and we'll put a bit of fluff where the R is and stick that on my block So then you want to make sure you've got the R, where's the R, R, <laughs> down that side. I'm going to push, okay, and we'll pull it off the R side, there we go. Okay, I think we'll just stop there. That's how I put my labels on my stamps. Happy stamping, ciao.